Pueblo South football, it's been, been around for 59 years. Uh, it's our first title game appearance. Um, I don't think we've been really shy about, about hiding that fact. Um, you know, before this, we were to the semifinals three times and, and lost uh, two games by one point. Uh, but these guys find a way, found a way this last week to get over hump, uh, play, you know, good quality football for 48 minutes. And, um, you know, one thing about, one thing about Pueblo is we're, we're extremely proud of, of what we have. And, you know, it's a heck of a community. I'm extremely proud to be representing that community. I'm a Pueblo guy myself. In your preseason, everybody's training, everybody's lifting weights, everybody's working hard. But it comes down to what happens between the lines, and uh, these guys have proven it. And these seniors have been great leaders. They've been great leaders in our community. They've done an awesome job of uh, carrying the torch forward. And it can become a burden, too, of, of, of that winning tradition. And these guys have embraced it. And going forward, they've done an awesome job with that and left our, our program in great shape. I could talk about these guys all day long. Um, you know, they're full of guts. They're full of heart, full of determination. You know, those things have kind of set us apart at times. But, um, you know, the most important thing to me, and as I look out at them, you know, just the character that they display on a daily basis, uh, the type of kids that they are in the classroom, um, the type of kids they are in our hallways as leaders, as young men in our community, I couldn't be more proud of, of them as individuals and as a collective group. Our offense has struggled early, and we struggled scoring points. And, and lately we've been able to capitalize on some things. Um, but we really rode the coattails of that defense for, I would say, m most of the season. Would you give up seven this postseason? <laughs> seven? Uh, you know, it's, you give up seven in three playoff games. Um, you know, eight, ten sophomores, I can't find any on film because they all look like they're, you know, full of experience. Uh, they fly around. They play good football. Um, it's a good football program. Actually, you know, 2010 – <clears throat> started my head coaching career against Pine Creek. And that was a good football team, in, you know, that year too. And, and they've just gotten better and better as the years went on. That's why they are where they are um, consistently here at this press conference, consistently here on Championship Saturday. It's an expectation for us to be good, and we don't know how good we're going to be. So the expectation has been set high in that we win games. But to be able to get to this point and play in a state championship game, you have to stay humble. I think the coaches do a great job of keeping us humble. I'm humbled to coach and, and to be a part of this great game. And uh, it's an honor to be here, and it's an honor to be your guys' coach.